this is a quick checklist on, on a project that I'm going to start. This used to be a tub with an ugly ass tile background. But we're going to put a walk-in shower, 4 feet deep, 5 feet wide, with a 16 inch uh, bench. And also an additional shower head up on top. We're going to keep this existing shower head, but we're also going to put a second one that's going to be running off the tub spout. We're going to relocate this or reroute this using CPVC, not PVC. We're going to run it up here, up to the top of the uh, uh, ceiling. But um, make sure I run into two times where that's the drain going out to the sewer. Make sure you have a P-trap there. It should have something like this. This belongs under the sink, which is smaller, but make sure you have a P-trap. A P-trap is, accumulates water here that's going out to drain. It accumulates water here that always stays filled up so the sewer gases cannot penetrate, come back up through the drain and smell up your, your bathroom. So stick a small rotter there, uh, flexible like a piece of wire and just see how easy it bends if it bends pretty easy you may not have one but uh, something so simple to check right now um, make yourself a checklist of things that you should do on the base of all these studs all the way across on all three walls you need to have two by sixes between each stud all the way across don't put two by four make sure it's two by six across every single stud and uh, you can use pressure treated wood depending on your city code. Um, some people don't like even want it because of the chemicals. So if not, just use yellow pine. Plastic moisture barrier. Get some thick plastic. And you have to wrap all three walls from the very bottom to the very top. All three walls. Just staple it. Staple it on the studs, on every stud. Staple it in there and seal it. You don't have to put insulation here. This is a closet. That's a closet. That's an exterior wall. Make sure your insulation's in good shape. Um, check your P-trap. Make any additional repairs that, uh, that you find. Right now, it's obviously easy while you're standing up. Uh, I'm going to see what's going on here. We just took the shower wall out, so let's see what's going on here. Um, and if you... Uh, some places won't allow you to put exterior or wall uh, water lines on exterior wall. This is an exterior wall, so if you wanted to do some changes make sure that you don't have it outside check your insulation form your bench and your soap dish your soap dish is going to go between the studs you can make you can make an arch you can make a square they sell prefabbed inserts uh, but you can do all that now the um you can form out your bench then on this particular one we're going to do 16 inches deep and the width of the shower which is going to be four feet all the way across Make uh, clean up your area so you have a nice clean area to work with. Um, I'm going to start doing this forming. I'll document a few things, take some pictures, but show you how how the uh, how to install the drain before you set your cement. And, and this is for a shower pan on a cement. There's different procedures. Shower pan on a sub floor, a wood floor, different procedures, but this is going to be obviously on cement.